LA Police Gear Battle Rattle Pant, or more formally, the LA Police Gear Battle Rattle Stretch Tactical Pant. Battle Rattle, it's a cool name, right? Battle Rattle, kind of like Tweedle Beetle Battles. Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Puddle Buddle Fuddle Wuddle Fox and Socks or any Dr. Seuss fans. Anyway, sorry, I digress. The Battle Rattle Pant from LA Police Gear. There are lots of tactical pants out there. And this is LA Police Gear's latest iteration of them. These pants are $34.99. They come in a bunch of colors. Black, charcoal, coyote, khaki, navy, and OD green. This is the coyote. And I also have the charcoal here. Pretty standard colors. Waist sizes go from 28 to 44 inches. And the length goes from 30 to 36 inches. These pants are made of a mechanical stretch 8.1 ounce. 65-35 polycotton ripstop fabric. So it stretches horizontally, as all pants do that are stretch fabric, not vertically. It says they're 8.1 ounce. I would say overall this feels pretty standard for normal ripstop tactical pant fabric. Kind of decent heavy weight. Not too light, not too heavy, but pretty standard ripstop fabric. The fit on these is made to be more of a modern fit, a little bit less baggy, a little bit not, sort of a slimmer fit a little bit compared to the more old style baggy tactical pants. Let's have a look at the pants starting up at the top here. The waist, there are seven belt loops, two here and then five more back here. They're two and a quarter inch belt loops, so they will fit almost all belts. On the front here, there is a LA Police Gear logoed button closure here. On the inside, there's a secondary closure. Everyone knows I'm not fond of secondary closures. I've never felt the need for one, but this one at least, as I'll show you, there is the brass YKK zipper here. It's locking, so you open it up and it unzips. Same style as 511 pants. The only thing I don't like about these zippers with the little small zipper tab is that sometimes it gets stuck down in there and when you go to try and re-zip it, you're trying to dig that out of there and it can be, uh, it's a minor nitpick, but I noticed that a lot on the 511s. This one will have probably a little bit of that same problem. Anyway, on that secondary closure, it's at least I like it when it's up here as opposed to down here because when it's farther down, it makes sort of, as it were, reaching around to go to the bathroom a little bit more difficult. That's the inside of the pants, inside of the pockets do have this little hero's welcome pattern on them. And then here is the tag here. LA Police Gear, Battle Rattle Stretch Tactical Pants, 6535, some washing instructions. Wash and cold, tumble dry low, cool medium iron, cool iron if needed. I admittedly, as a guy, have never followed these instructions for 10 years of wearing tactical pants. I wash them on at least warm and I dry them on something not cool. And well, I never iron them, but my pants have always held up fine. The waistband here has a tuxedo stretch style waist. So right there, that will give you about an inch of extra stretch on either side. You can see right there, same on the inside here, you can see that little elastic right in there. And when you're wearing a belt over these, you can't tell that it's there. So it's a nice, neat look to it. I guess it gives you an extra inch or two. And that's not to say that you should buy these pants smaller. You should buy them to your current size, but this will allow you to tuck some stuff into them or maybe carry inside the waistband. Speaking of size, LA Police Gear sizing has always been a little bit tenuous. These you can order in your correct size. I wear a 3230 in pants and I was able to get these in a 3230 and they fit just fine. In the past I've had to order pants two inches big, but these you can order in your regular size. Let's have a look at the pockets now. They have 12 pockets. Standard notch pockets here. So you could clip a knife in here if you want it. And there's that notch so you can still get around it. Well, I'm over on this side. There's a hidden pocket right here with a little zipper pull down here, very similar to the Vertex pants. I've never had to use for this pocket personally, but it's there if you wanted to hide some stuff in here that you didn't want in your main pocket. And then when you zip this closed, that zipper pulls down in there and you can't at all tell that there's a hidden pocket there. It's only on the right side, not on the left. There are two pockets up here. You could put a cell phone in these. These pockets are not ideal for a cell phone for a couple reasons. You can see how much the cell phone sticks out of them. These pockets, this is my Galaxy S20 Plus. The pockets are about five and a half inches deep by four, four inches across. So if you put a cell phone in them up here, they're gonna stick out a lot. And then the same problem I have with LA Police Gear pockets of this style and all their pants is they're a little bit too centered and too high so that when you're sitting down, it's kind of right in there and it's hard, you, you can't get it out when you're sitting down and it kind of jabs you in the groin. A little bit. I think they should be down and out a little bit more so, so they're a little easier to get to, or maybe even fully on the side. So that's these pockets. You can put whatever else you want in them. You could put tourniquets in them. You could put keys. You could put, you know, anything. You put anything. You could clip a knife to them for that matter. So plenty of options. It doesn't have to be for a cell phone, but that's how a cell phone fits in them. 
Moving down a little bit as I'm going past this, the crotch is gusseted for a little extra ease of movement. Looking at the side of the pants, there's that front pocket I just talked about, the notched regular pocket, and then the cargo pocket here, two Velcro closures, bellows out here, and then on the inside there is one divider. It's this big, a little hard to show in a video like this, but there it is. It is how far across? About four inches across, and then it'll go the whole depth of the pocket. So can you put your cell phone here? Yes, you can. It will hold into that little pocket in there. And then my Galaxy S20, the depth of this pocket just barely fits it. But you can close it and you can put your cell phone there if you're so inclined. And then when you don't need this pocket, because of that bell, it lies nice and flat out of the way. There's also a pass-through right here that will go down into the pocket. So if you wanted to put maybe a radio or something in there with an antenna sticking out or anything else that was going to maybe stick out of that pocket, that could go in there and then out through this hole here. Behind that, there is a knife pocket or a flashlight pocket or a pen pocket or whatever utility type item you would want to put in here. That goes right there. This pocket is only on the right side. There's not one on the left. And this pocket for the size, for those of you with inquiring minds, five by one and three quarters. And on the back of the pants, two regular patch pockets. They're not sealed at all, just regular patch pockets, size wise, about five and a half by six and a half. And then up here, there are two more utility or cell phone pockets. Size of these is three, almost three and a quarter by six. And how will a cell phone do in here? Pretty good. So this will hold a cell phone well. This pocket is on both sides. So this is the safe place to carry a phone. Doesn't stick out too far. So you put it back there. The knees of these pants are reinforced and they do have a pocket on the inside for a knee pad. And then on the bottom of the pants, just a plain bottom, no blousing straps, no hidden handcuff key pockets, just a regular plain bottom there. So there you go, the LA Police Gear Battle Rattle Stretch Tactical Pant, new take, the latest take from LA Police Gear on tactical pants, has that stretch fabric, which makes them definitely a little bit more comfortable. Decent pocket layout, and again, LA Police Gear, sale of the century priced at only $34.99. So check them out, links down below, the Battle Rattle Pant. <laughs>